Hello Lucy fans, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Ricardo. Today's episode is a production spotlight on the history of Desilu Studio. So let's get started. Desilu Studio was formed in 1950 using the combined names of Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball, Desilu. It was created initially to produce Lucy and Desi's vaudeville act that they used to convince CBS executives to produce I Love Lucy. So it was created initially to, uh, for their vaudeville act to get I Love Lucy started. During the first few years of I Love Lucy, Desi Lou rented space at General Service Studios, now called the Hollywood Center Studios on Santa Monica Boulevard and North La Palma's Avenue. Desi Lou used stage two of this lot and this was named Desi Lou Playhouse. In 1954, Desi Lou outgrew its space at General Service Studios and decided to buy their own studio lot called the Motion Picture Center on Cahuga Boulevard in Hollywood. And this would be the home of the Hollywood, the Europe, and the country episodes of I Love Lucy. In late 1957, towards the end of I Love Lucy, Desi Lu bought RKO Pictures production facilities for $6 million, expanding its lot entirely. This purchase included the, a land called 40 Acres, which was used for many exterior shots, including the exterior shots of Mayberry, which is the fictional setting of the Andy Griffith show. So you can see that right here, that's an aerial view of that lot. Desi Blue produced many famous TV shows during the 1950s and 60s, including I Love Lucy, Our Miss Brooks, Star Trek, <laughs> Mission Impossible, Make Room for Daddy, The Real McCoys, The Andy Griffith Show, and The Dick Van Dyke Show, and so many more. The studio continued producing shows and movies under the leadership of both Lucy and Desi, but their divorce in 1960 changed things. In November 1962, Desi resigned as president when his holdings in the company were bought out by Lucy, so she bought out his share. This made her the first woman to head a major studio and one of the most powerful women in Hollywood at the time. So she became the president of Desi Lu. Under her leadership, the studio produced many TV shows under Desi Lu, including Star Trek. In fact, producers didn't want to produce the show at all, and Lucy said, let's take a chance with it. So we have Lucille Ball to thank for Star Trek today, as well as Mission Impossible and so many other television shows. In 1967, Lucy decided to agree to sell Desi Lu to Gulf and Western, which had just acquired Paramount Pictures, and the company was renamed Paramount Television, and the company is now called CBS Television Studios. So that's a complete history of the evolution of Desi Lu Studios. Right now, I have a clip of Desi Arnaz showing an aerial view of the Desi Lu lot. So it's very cool to see the aerial shots. So take a look. And you know, when, when we bought it, we not only had the buildings and the sound stages, we acquired millions of feet of stock film suitable for backgrounds in our television shows. Plus a huge property department and sets, costume film, all kind of assets that'll give our Western Gals Desilu Playhouse great production values. 
Now, why don't we go over and take a look at Motion Picture Center? It's just a few blocks away. There it is. That's where we made the Isle of Lucy shows, which were filmed in front of live audiences. You see, most of those sound stages are equipped with seats for just that purpose. And uh, we plan to do our Lucy specials over there, see? And if you or any of the other dealers want to see our show being filmed, we'll have to have you. Thanks, I'll take you up on that. Now, what do you say we swing over to Desi Luke Culver? have it a complete history of the desi lu studios from where it started and where it is today i think it's really cool to see the aerial shots of the lot because we think of i love lucy and these other television shows of being in these um these homes the 623 e68 street apartment we think that's where it exists but to see it at an actual lot, a stage, um, a, a building. It's, it's really cool, but also it's a little bit sad to know that, you know, that it doesn't exist in an actual apartment. It was all on a stage. So I just wanted to give you this video of a history of Desi Lu to see where it all started, where our show started. So let me know what your favorite fact was in the video, and I'll be happy to read those comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time and remember to always laugh often.